Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on solving equations. Hopefully this will help you with um, all of the questions from year 7 all the way until year 11. We're going to go through four examples which I think will cover all of the different types of equations you might get in your GCSE exam. So here's the first one, 3x take away 5 equals 7. Well as we've learned in class we have little brackets on each side. This shows us what we want to do. So on the first one we have a minus 5 here. We want to get rid of that minus 5 so we must plus 5 to both sides. When we plus 5 to the first side we're just left with 3x because the minus 5 is gone. On the right hand side we had 7 and now we plus 5 to it so we now get 12. We put our little brackets again to show what we're going to do and again as we learn in class we always divide by the number in front of the letter so we're dividing both sides by 3 so we're left with just x on this side and on the other side we have 12 divided by 3 gives us 4 so x is 4 is our answer this is a very basic equation we'll do a slightly harder one now on the second side so we look at this one again we put little brackets on each side to show that we want to do something to both sides this time we have a plus 3 here so this is what we want to get rid of so to get rid of plus 3 we must do take away 3 so on the left side we have 10 but we take away 3 so that just leaves me with 7 on the right side we've got 6x but we've now got rid of the 3 so we've just got 6x left so we put our little brackets on each side and as I said a moment ago we always divide by what we what is in front of the letter so we always divide both sides by 6 so divide 6 on both sides this is an interesting one because we can't do 7 divided by 6 so we just leave it as a fraction 7 divided by 6 remember to make sure the bottom number is what you're dividing by. So 7 divided by 6 is our answer. So 7 divided by 6 equals x. So these first two are quite basic. Now we're going to do some with brackets in. So here's our next question. 2 open brackets 3x plus 4 equals 14. This is no different. It's just one extra step which is expanding the brackets. Something that we've practiced many times. So when we expand the brackets, we put on arrows like I've done on the board. And the first arrow, 3 times 2, gives us 6x. There's a plus in the middle, so we put a plus in the middle. And then 2 times 4 gives us 8, and that equals 14. Now we do exactly what we've done in the previous two examples. Brackets on both sides and we want to get rid of this 8 here so we take away 8 from both sides so on the left side we're left with just 6x because the 8's gone on the right side we had 14 we took away 8 that leaves us with 6 now we divide both sides by the number in front of the letter so we're going to divide both sides by 6 so we have x equals 6 divided by 6 is 1. So x equals 1 is our answer. So as you can see, that one wasn't any harder. You just had to expand out the bracket first. This next question is the hardest type that you'll get. It's when there's a letter on both sides. So we have 5x plus 3 on one side and 2x plus 10 on the other side. So all we do, the first step, is to identify which x is smallest. So quite obviously 2x is the smallest x. That's the one we're going to get rid of. We always get rid of the smallest x. So we take away 2x on both sides. Now we've got to be careful here because when we take away 2x, we started with 5x. Take away 2x, that leaves me with 3x. We've still got this plus 3 here, so we write plus 3 equals 
Well, on the other side, we only have 10 left because we've taken away the 2x. The 2x is gone. From here, it's quite easy because we just follow the same steps as we did for the first example. Take away 3 on both sides. That leaves us with just 3x on the left. And 10 take away 3 is 7 on the right. And then as we keep saying, we always divide by the number in front of the letter. So we're dividing by the 3. This gives us x equals, well we can't do 7 divided by 3, so we just leave it as a fraction, 7 over 3. Remember, whatever you divide by goes on the bottom of the fraction. Right, now there are a few practice questions for you to have a go at. These practice questions, the first two are quite easy and they get harder as they go down. The last one's a little bit tricky, so you might want to get some help on that when you've done it.